to be organized or right. not mm -hmm. to be organized? <laughs> that is the question this morning with Leslie Norman with To Be Organized. Yes. So good to see you. Good to be here. Thanks for ca coming in this morning. Sure. sure. Okay, yeah. so we now help. we do need help. We do. Okay. I'm not the most organized person. Actually, let's talk about that. No. no. <laughs> There's no judgment when no, we come. No, not. Thank you. It's it's all about you know making it functional, making it less stress in our clients' lives, and so. So what do you do for clients then? Yeah. So, if you look at our card, there's a variety of things, but basically anything that needs organized, from your closet to your pantry to your move. Um, we oh. even pack people up and move them around the, uh, wherever they need to go. We had one that moved to Florida last year. So. Oh, wow. So you will come to people's homes. Uh huh. Oh, so I we're coming that. into your home. Um, last week we did a kitchen and got it great. Uh, we did a garage a couple weeks ago that just looked amazing. Um, but we're all over the place, all over the Ozarks, go down into Arkansas and all the way over to Joplin sometimes. So. Oh wow. man, that's great. I could use that. I could use your help for sure. But here's the thing, Kel. I love that you help me get organized. How do you stay organized? That's true. So, and that's the big thing is that when you organize, it's not just rearranging things. Yeah. You really have to take accountability for what you have. Really purging out the things that no longer fit, that have holes. I mean, we're grown adults. We don't need to have clothes with armpit stains and holes and, you know, unless they're your paint clothes, that's all you need them for. Well, Dad, come and I can't throw anything away. <laughs> well, that is true. And so when you get rid of those things that you don't need anymore, it makes it so that you can find the things that you want. You know, if you're walking into your closet in the morning and it's full of clothes and you say, I have nothing to wear. Well, it's probably because you have too much in there to wear and you can't see oh, what you have. Oh, this is what I say all the time, And Jeremy. then being very intentional about how you put things back in there. Only things that go on your body should be going into your closet, you know. Mm -hmm. Your snorkel gear probably doesn't belong in your closet. Dadgummit. Oh. I'd be doing it wrong. My bowling ball doesn't need to be no, in my closet. No, doesn't need to be in no, your closet. No, no, no. Those, that tennis racket that's never been mm -hmm. used? No. Nope. Yeah, nope. Not in there. So, you know, when we do closets, a lot of times with our clients, we're doing multiple sessions in their home. So we want to start with the one that makes the most stress in your life. What is the biggest trigger? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So for a lot of families with kids, that's a pantry. Yeah. For a lot of working professionals, that's their garage, because that's your welcome mat when you come home. And if it's not giving you a good signal, you, That's my welcome mat. Your Sir Welcome mat. I don't feel welcome. I don't no, feel welcome. I do not. No, mm -mm. it sets you up for not. But what we're going to talk about is closets mm -hmm. because all of us go into closets every morning. And so if we can reduce that stress in your closet of getting ready in the morning, we can do it. So the initial purge, when you get organized, you really have to take everything out of the closet. So mm -hmm. that initial purge is where we hold up things and we're like, all the t shirts are together. So let's go through them. Mm -hmm. And it's a quick purge. Then my team and I will put everything back into the closet and very intentionally all the shirts are together, all the pants are together. And that secondary purge is where it's really revealing because you're like, I have 10 short sleeve black shirts. Oh. oh. So let's hold the six foot rule. Can you okay. tell any difference between these black shirts? And if the answer is no, then let's see which one is the better. And even more often it's the, I have 10 shirts, I wear those three. So when you pull out okay. those other seven, you're not having to hunt through them every morning. Okay. And you're able to see things. Things can move out better. Leslie, do you keep two of the seven? Well, how many black shirts do you keep? So I let my clients choose that. I mean, I try to lead them on a path, but I'm not going to be like, oh, this is trash. This is trash. You know, I'm not throwing everything out, but we need to get you thinking on the path so that you can sustain it. So that when you bring something new in, a new black shirt in, okay, well, I'm going to not wear this one anymore. So let's get rid of this. So one. Leslie, can I ask you this? Mm -hmm. uh, do I get any credit? For this, okay? This is how I do my closet. I have one closet that's just pants. I have one closet that's just polo shirts. I have one closet that's just suit blazers. Now, is that a good step in the right direction, though? Because everything's in its own closet. It is in its own closet. We like like with like. Um, it all depends on how big of closets you have. It might be more of the case that your wardrobe might need to come down and not be as big as it is. You should see I'm my a, I was just going to say, closet. I'm going to just let you all discuss <laughs> I'm like, I hate throwing stuff, which Kelly knows I can't throw stuff away no. because I know like, what if I need this crazy blazer for another event, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and there are things like that. When it's, you know, the one-off things, like the formal ball gown, that probably doesn't need to live in your primary closet. Right. That's true. Right. So things that are, that you go to every day, you know, mm -hmm. the clothes that you only wear on vacation. I mean, we all have a sundress that yes. you do not wear in Springfield, Missouri. That is true. So a lot mm -hmm. of times we'll take a basket and have it put up high in the closet. So it's mm -hmm. out of your reach, not in the prime real estate area. Yeah. And that's where those sorts of things live. And if you know it's up there, then you can think about it. Because, but when I put things up high in the closet, I forget. I forget. That's true. I forget well, what I, oh, I have to choose. Well, and that's where containment that is Perfect. labeled 
comes into play. So okay. when they're labeled, you'll know what it is. So that basket that's up high, it says vacation on it or travel. Right. Maybe it's Perfect. a fun basket with anchors on it. Okay. Um, and so that you know where it is, but you know where everything is. Okay, so you brought some yeah, stuff for us. What are we going to do today? That. And and I'm curious about these hangers as well. Okay, so one of our biggest things in closets is, I mean, if you look at just what that looks like across the top, look how cluttered that looks with all the different hangers. Mm -hmm. So one of our biggest tips is go to the same type of hanger. Right. If it's plastic, if it's dry cleaner hangers, that's fine. Or our favorites are these slimline hangers. Oh, right, mm. exactly. Um, which a lot of men don't like the huggable feature, so they do make them in plastic now where they don't have that hug feature. What is the hug feature? What does that it's mean? The it kind of holds on to it oh. so things don't fall off. The big key is making sure they're the same. So I tend to say go with either basic black with the metal mm -hmm. or there's an ivory color. As you can see, when you get gray, uh-oh, I need another box. Well, these are all slightly different uh -huh. colors and yes. different hanger tops. Um, so, I'll yeah. tell you this right now, I hate these because all my shirts get caught on that little thing. Uh, I know they're for strappies for girls, right? Yeah. And I cut I those, those strappies right. I'm not the, the, but those other things that are supposed to have you yeah, put I on the hanger. I mean, this that. does save you, it's not quite 50% savings in going from that or the wooden hangers, but I mean, mm -hmm. it's 15 to 25. Now, can you, before we run out of time, can you show us how to fold the shirt? Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is file folding, which once again, we pull out one, it doesn't destroy the whole stack. So we're going to shake this yes. out. Yeah. There we go. Because my shirt drawer is so, a mess. You fold in those sides. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it just goes like that. Oh, wow, that was and easy. And then the I thought it would be more complex. Yeah, I did too. And people think it's so intimidating, but in reality, you're only putting one or two away at a time. Yeah. And then they're all in there nice and organized. You really have inspired me today, honestly. Okay. Well, you know, if you need a little inspiration, you can always give me a shout and we'll How do we'll people reach you? That. So um, you can reach us through To Be Organized is our website. It's to the letter B. I think it might is be it on here? the sign. It's Maybe probably at the bottom. Probably at the bottom. Um, yeah. To be hyphen organized.com. We're on Facebook and on Instagram. You can reach out there. Um, and I would love to help anyone in the Ozarks to get organized. And yes. We even do offer virtual sessions. Um, so if someone wants to DIY it but needs a little direction, we can get you headed in the right path. All right. Thank and then you. look at that QR code okay. right there. If you're at home right now, mm -hmm. put your uh, phone up to it right now, scan it, do it. Guys, do it right now. And you have uh, all the information. Right That'd now, that QR code will get you to my booking site, which okay. you can book a consultation um, for free right now. And um, we can come out and look at your space. And thank you, Leslie. Thank you so, sure. so empowering, isn't it? All right, we'll be back. I love that. Well, Yay, I do. I, I, I want to try that. Yeah, here, I try, one. try that. Okay, try one. All right. Oh, I like that shirt. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I like, can I have that? <laughs> <laughs> that's a, okay.